Hallelujah. Can we all stand? Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love this morning. We thank you, Lord, for your mercies. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, God, for your blood that was shed on us. That your blood has given us life and life more abundantly. As we come before you today, Lord God, we know that you are in our midst, Father God, to bless. So Holy Spirit, we pray that you pour out today upon your people. Lord, we ask that you will heal the sick today. Deliver the captive. Save souls, oh God, for your kingdom. Father, we just submit our ways to you today. We yield to you, Father God, and we say, Lord, let your will, let your way be done today. Do what only you alone can do through us, Father God, for us and for your glory, Father. We bless you today. We honor you. We exalt you. We glorify your name today, Lord, for you alone are worthy, God. Have your way today as we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. And we say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Can we give the Lord a praise today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. His name is holy. Hallelujah. The Bible says his name is worthy to be praised. From the uprising of the sun until the going down of the same, his name is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We want to thank the Lord for today. Hallelujah. We want to thank him for he is good and his mercy endures forever. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Where would we be today without his mercy? Yes. Where would we be without his grace? Yes. So we are grateful that he has afforded us this privilege today yes. that we can come in his presence. The Bible lets us know in his presence there is fullness of joy and at his right hand that there are pleasures forevermore. Hallelujah. So let us come today to bask in the presence Amen. of the Almighty God. Yes. Why? For he is worthy. Word. Hallelujah. And we bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the
worthy. Yes. Yes. Worthy to be there is none like him. None. And there is none that can compare to him. Right. For he is worthy. Yes. He is worthy. He is righteous. And he is holy. Right. Hallelujah. That is the God whom we serve. Yes. Hallelujah. So we come today to lift up his name. We're here today, not on our own merit, but to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For he is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. From the uprising of the sun to the going down of the same, his name is worthy to be praised. And we lift up his name this morning. Hallelujah. For he is worthy. Worthy. He is worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy, worthy, you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship
I was watching a, a preacher on YouTube yesterday. And he was saying that the name Jesus is a myth. He was saying that Jesus is not real. A preacher. A preacher. <laughs> who was a born again preacher. Oh, wow. Now he's preaching a different kind of message. That Jesus is not coming back. And there will be no rapture. And that the name Jesus is a myth. That is made up. But we are here today to declare to the world that Jesus Christ is real. That he's alive. And that Jesus Christ is coming again. Hallelujah. I want to say to the world today that Jesus is real. Amen. Hallelujah. He's alive. He's well. And he's coming again. Hallelujah. We are not afraid to declare that Jesus Christ is real. Yes. Hallelujah. He lives in me. He lives in you. And he's coming again. Hallelujah. So I'm telling everyone today, be prepared for the same Jesus who came. He's coming back again. Yes. And he's coming back to receive those that are his. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are so grateful we are in the house of the Lord and we are here to lift up his Hallelujah. because he is worthy and he is holy so much so much say it that he's not real we know he's real because what he's living deep down inside of our souls today yeah. hallelujah Hallelujah. We're not ashamed of the gospel of not Christ. Not the power of God <laughs> unto salvation. Not Praise be to God. Praise be to God. So today, you can turn your Pentecostal hymn up to number 73. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope we all know this song.
Hallelujah. Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. All the way, my Savior leads me. Are we willing to follow him as he leads? Hallelujah. Someday lead me and I will follow. But are we willing to follow him? Are we willing to let Jesus lead us today? Hallelujah. Knowing that whatever we do in this life should be because of him. Should be because of him. Through him. For he is what? He is our all in all. Hallelujah. So today just let, let's surrender. Let's yield to him. Let's yield to the healing of God. The leading of God. And he'll take us to the place where we should be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, today's scripture lesson will be taken from the book of St. John 3. St. John 3. From verses 16 to 21. I'll ask um, Minister Sean to read for us. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest their deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Here in the name of God's name. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, we'll sing again from the Pentecostal hymnal number 260. 260.
of kings and he is Lord of lords. Hallelujah. We are here to lift up his name. Hallelujah. For his name is holy and his name is worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone has a burning testimony? Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. telling me that this focus on him focus on the light of God and he will lead you to that that path that leads to righteousness and glory and to, uh, to be with God so pray my strength in Jesus name for God is good he's all good and he's uh, God all by himself I give him the glory I just want to think this time that I'm still standing I'm still here I still have this uh, right state of mind and that great understanding to give him the praise and all the glory that he so deserved in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise uh, God. Lord. I was listening when you said, um, the, the minister said, um, God, Jesus, God is not real. You know, and this song came up in my heart to sing. Real, real, real. God's so real to me. Oh
sun is shining. He's in the rain. Everywhere. There's a living God. And he's coming one day to receive us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. When my burden of sin was gone.
to press. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Like Paul said, I press toward yeah. the mark for the prize, for the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So let's press our way today. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Anyone else? Glory to God. He's real. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is real. God is real. God is real. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Press along, saints. Press along in God always. Press along, saints. Press along in God And to reconcile the world unto, unto himself. himself. Yes. Because he said, on this rock, I will. <laughs> I will build my church. Amen. And the gates oh. of hell yes. shall not, not prevail against it. Yes. Press along, saints. Press along. Press along, Press along saints. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Whether this time is offering time, church. Hallelujah. Offering time. Uh, sister, we call Sister Doreen to call it the day's offering for us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. With Lord, we welcome his return. It may be morning, it may be night or noon. I know he's coming soon. We're in a one light uh, envelope. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. one more time, Lord, for the many blessings that you have given us, yes. God, for the promises, Lord Jesus, that you have made and answered, Lord Jesus. So, Father, as we receive this offering today, dear God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will bless it, dear God, as it is being used for the building up of your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 coming back again. He's coming back again. He went away not to stay. He's coming back
Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise Amen. Praise, Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord to the risen Christ. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. He is real. Truly, he is real. We thank God for today. And we welcome everyone. We welcome our Facebook and our YouTube audience. We thank God for you as you participate in the service and as you use this as a means to tell others that we are serving the risen Lord. Amen. Amen. That he's alive and doing wonders among us. That he's alive and he's coming back. No matter what it is, nothing is going to stop us. We praise God. We want to welcome Amen, everyone here today. We thank God for Sister Carrie and her two children. Amen. We're worshiping with us from Pentab in Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica. We also are happy to see Sister Watson. God bless you, man. Amen, 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 amen. And we want to rejoice as we see uh, their sister Lorraine and sister Marjorie walk in. God bless you. Amen. <laughs> you know, as they walk in, I remember once we were having a Sunday school and Minister Hannam said that when we see our loved ones coming in, we should just make a joyful noise. <laughs> Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So thank God for you. Amen. As we worship the Lord, as we give him glory and honor and praise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Before the speaker comes, my wife and I, we're going to sing a song. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> Lord have mercy, praise God. <laughs> and you know, let us, you know, tomorrow we'll be. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about Jesus. <laughs> that King of Kings is He. The Lord of Lords supreme through all eternity. The great I am the way. It's good to be here today. Very good to be here. And we have much to say. I hope Brother Palmer won't mind. No, no, I don't mind. Say Go on. Say <laughs> First of all, um, when I heard, um, you know the Holy Ghost is reading? Of course. Do. And it's in the spirit of God that runs the church. It's not us. We just have to follow it. Mother Pain. Glad to see you. <laughs> um, we have been reminiscing for a, a long while. I don't I look so short today? <laughs> but we have been re reminiscing for a long time. And we have been talking the scriptures. We have been discussing and we have been getting excited about certain things in the scripture. One of the reminiscing things basically today is that tomorrow... It would be 19 years since we are tolerating each other in the glory of God. Praise the Lord. It's our 19th year anniversary. And um, the opening song by our minister, that you, I smiled because that was our opening song at our wedding. Yeah. The song that you sang this morning. Yes. All the way my Savior leads me. <laughs> that was our opening song. But we have been looking into the scriptures together and we have been getting excited because a lot of things that we go through in this life and those who are married know that today you're up, tomorrow you're down, little things. We just have to work through them because it can be worked through because God is in it. It's three of us in the marriage, God and us. And so it is with all Christians, right? And when we look at what we struggle through and how we reach and, you know, the camaraderie we have all the time, we have to just praise God, Amen. right? And um, there's a song that we're going to sing, which the scripture attests to. So those who think that Jesus is not coming back, <laughs> there's so much proof. Yes. Had it not been for him, we would not be together to be. Right. For all the external things, the internal things that happens within our marriage, we would not be here and we would not be, be shouting and praising God. It is only God, Jesus Christ, who can do that. 
So we just have to pray for those people who think that there's no Jesus. Yes. Right? Because, if, well, of course, if you don't have him, there's none for you. That's right. Until you have him. Amen. Right? So, um, Revelation, in Revelation 19, it says, And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. And it says, And again they said, Hallelujah, and her smoke rose up from ever forever and ever and the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshiped god that sat on the throne saying amen hallelujah and a voice came out of the throne saying praise our god all ye his servants and ye that fear him both small and great and i heard as it were the voice of a great multitude and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunder in sin. Hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made her ready. You know, and when we read that scripture, and we look at the church, we look at Beulah and start calling the names. Can you imagine if all of us at Beulah make it in? Amen. Right? So for that to happen, we have to be consistent, we have to be persistent, and we have to push. Push. Pray until something happens. Otherwise, we won't make it. And so the song is attesting to that today. I heard the angels sing, glory, hallelujah, a mighty chorus way up high. I heard the angels sing, praise the name of Jesus, singing in the choir in the sky. I heard a thousand trumpets sounding out his glory, telling the story how he came to earth. I heard a million voices, praise the name of Jesus, singing in the choir in the sky. I heard the glorious Me. Hey. 
Lord. Praise the Lord. Just think about it. Just put yourself in the spirit. And listen. Listen to something that is not audible to anybody else but you. Yes. Hearing a thousand trumpets sounding out in glory. Singing in God's choir in the sky. We are all in God's choir. So let us practice from now. Because if we are not with it, no, we can't be with it. Then God bless you. Amen. Shall we stand? We want to pray for the speaker coming on. That God will continue to endow him with the power and the unction to bring the word. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come today. We honor you because you are true, you are alive. You are all in the building of this church. The church founded by you, founded upon you. Amen. Founded in your name. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. And today, as your servant comes, Lord God, to bring the word, we pray that you'll anoint him, Lord God, that your spirit will be upon him. The Lord Jesus, as we listen to the words coming out, Lord, our souls will be filled with the power and the joy, Lord God, that you endeavor for your people to experience. Bless, Lord Jesus Christ. Guide us today as we look to you, the author and the finisher of our faith. The great I am. Amen. The only wise God. And we glorify you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So this guy. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good, isn't he? Hallelujah. You can remain standing as we present to you the speaker for the day, none other than the Elder Palmer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you sound of a mighty Russian wind? And it's closer now than it ever been. I can almost hear the Father say, Son, go get my children. The midnight cry. Hallelujah. We'll be going home when Jesus steps out on a cloud to call his children.
Yes, yes, yes. Because there's no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. Yes. 
but by the name of Jesus. For at the sound of that name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And we thank God that God looked beyond our thoughts. Yes. Yeah. Saw our needs and send us a savior. That's right. During the course of last week, I was on my way to work and I was contemplating. I did not call Sean, I did not call him. Um, Minister Anthony, no, no, but um, I really had no desire to bring the word today. But I, I was driving and I said to the Lord, Lord, what must I do? I was not, there was, there's so much things going on, you know, and I, I was contemplating. And the Lord said, you know what, I'm sorry. Yeah. That was the word that came to me. I, 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 I was like dumb after that. I was like dumb. I thought, when that happened to me, where I was, Pastor, I was just driving past your, your exit. Exit, yeah. That's only because I was going to work early in the morning. And I said, yes, Lord, I know you're sorry. And he said, do you know that I came as a substitute? I said, yes, Lord. So, the theme of my message today, the sovereign substitute. Yeah. And everything that has happened from we start this morning to now points to one person. Yes, Jesus one person. Christ. Mm -hmm. I wanted to call Brother Aaron, and for some reason I did not. But guess what? He called me. And when he called me, he said, What's going on? I said, I'm okay. So I'm just following up. That's all he said. I said, You know, I should have called you, Brother Aaron. I should have called you because. I need a moderator. And he smiled. I said, Can you do it? He said, Of course. Sure. I said, Thank you. Praise God. But then he called me back after and he said, What is it that you want me to do? I said, Do whatever the Lord allowed you to do. I am not going to tell you what to do. Yeah. You're okay. Then he said, You have an him? Yes, And all I said, the Lord, the Lord, in fact, the Lord gave me that him as well. The next day, mm. the Lord said to me, you know, all the way I'm going, all the way. I said, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way Jesus, please. Okay, fine, I got it. And I called him, I said, this is the him. I would like you to um, sing. To know God. Yeah. To trust God is to listen to God. That's right. If you can't listen to Him, you're not going to hear nothing. You'll hear things, but you won't hear from Him. That's right. Because God wants us to, to communicate with Him. And for us to communicate with Him, we have to be willing to find a place and be quiet and listen for his voice because he speaks that's right but if you're not positioning yourself to listen you're not going to hear you'll hear all kind of things but you may not hear his voice that's right and his desire is to communicate with his people the lesson today was so fitting so fitting on I will build my church, right? This, uh, the, 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 the lesson was saying that the, the author, the finisher, the constructor, the builder, the architect, whatever, Everything, it is yes. all about in. him. Yes, all in him. We see, and and sometimes we sing this chorus, this in, uh, and the chorus, it's all in him. The fullness of the God is all in him. But do we really, do we cause it to resonate in us? That really everything is in him. Everything, yes. Every time we gather as a body, as the church, 
it is a privilege for us to understand the oneness of him amen so the scripture that was read earlier St. John 3, 16 to 21. He said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So, the sovereign substitutes. Understand? It's very important, you know. Very, very, very. In fact, it is essential. When we look at this Gospel of John, St. John, it is essential to understand the deity of God and his expressed image. In Jesus Christ. Yes. Listen to this in, in John chapter 1. Just listen to this. If you want to follow along, fine. It's in John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Yes. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the word was God. God. Mm. The same was in the beginning with God. Mm. All things. All things. But some things. All. All things Omega. were made by him. And without him, there was nothing made Definitely. that was made. I want to pause here for a moment. If I may encourage all of us to do it myself. It is said, and, I, and it's, it appears that way, that we are living in the age of technology. It's the technological age. And the evidence of that is no more so in our young children. We see them. You give them any gadget. Any gadget. And that you can't use. That's right. They make it look like a fool. <laughs> they fix it. Let them just them do things. I remember watching a video where this young, about four or five years old, went on the internet and had up thousands of dollars of things from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> and the parents do so, parents saw the delivery. I mean, black, the driver, you know. <laughs> Mother was hysterical. She was like, have you done all of these things? Well, the bill says, this is the address. This is a phone number. You made the order, and the thing is in your name. Uh -huh. He took his mother's phone and just went on Amazon and just order everything that he doesn't know, <laughs> and they deliver. No, huh? it's amazing that my, my 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 one of my brothers' daughter is, is staying with us from Florida, and she brought her youngest child. His name is Mosai. He's just two. And I saw him on the phone. And I was like, you know, eat food, food has nothing on his agenda. Just the phone. And he was doing all kinds of things. The good thing about it, if you took the phone from him, he did not cry. It seems like someone this has been there. But this generation mm -hmm. knows so much about the gadgets that That's are right. here mm -hmm. that make us others look like we're not trying. That's right. Why, 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 why am I saying this? I'm saying this to say the Bible tells you know that in these days, mm -hmm. what? Wisdom shall what? Decrease. No, in, what? Hello? Increase. Increase. Wisdom. And who will increase it? The babe and the suckling. They are the ones who are showing us how, how wisdom come. Mm. Some time ago I spoke about AI. AI? Artificial, Artificial intelligence. Now, 
That's another can of worms that we don't, don't even want to go into, right? Jesus is telling us that anything that was made, he is the maker. That's right. So he didn't make it then. I'm not making it now. Because who is? He's what? The same yesterday, today, and forever. So if he's all of that, that means that he's still causing things to be made. That's right. The wisdom of God is <clears throat> right. Infinite. You can't put Jesus in a matchbox. That's finding out. Yeah. Because if you put him in a matchbox, you're gonna miss a whole lot. Don't ever be surprised or bewildered of the things that we see happening. Mm. And say, really? That yes, Jesus know. Yes, true. And he allow it to happen because it is his wisdom. Yes. No, I don't believe that God would give man the wisdom to do things to destroy themselves. Man will make a choice to do that. Yes. Man make bombs and bullets and all kind of ornaments that can endanger life. But Jesus, that, that Jesus agenda, Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So Jesus said about life and living. So, verse 4 says, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in the darkness. Darkness couldn't understand it. Mm. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to be a witness of that light, that all men through him might believe. Are you a believer today? That God is real. Yes. That he's coming back. Definitely. He is. Yes. Right? He was not that light, but was sent to be a witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. Mm -hmm. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. But as many as received him, to them, to them, to them gave he power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name yes when you look at the book of Genesis there is clear evidence that Jesus begins in Genesis and End in revelation. So God looked and saw a man called Noah. And he saw that Noah was a man living in the day in a nation that chose not to recognize God. But Noah recognized that he did not happen by error. That's right. No one recognized that there must be something greater. So the things that was happening in Noah's time, in Noah's present, Noah chose not to partake of that. And the Bible says well, that Noah, that was the first time we heard about the word grace. Yeah. The Bible says that Noah oh, grace. found grace in the sight of the Lord. Yes. That is to say, Noah drawn the Lord's favor, so to speak. Yeah. He found grace in the sight of the Lord. And we know the story. The Lord commanded Noah to build an ark. First time. Noah was the first ship builder. That's right. Right? Maybe it was bigger than the Titanic. Maybe I don't know. Right? It, it tells us you know, that's the point because I, I think I should, I should check now the length of the length and depth of the Titanic as against 
the ark. Right? So, and the Lord commanded Noah to do something, which he did. But we know the story. It was a flood. And the earth and all the inhabitants, except for Noah and his sons, and they were, they were saved. What pastor said this morning about this preacher? We say it was a it was a born again preacher. Right? No, no, it's a Baptist preacher. Baptist preacher, right? <laughs> he said there is no Jesus. Oh, so yesterday I took my niece to Baltimore, and, and, and coming back, my youngest sister called me. She's she's the youngest grandmother in the family. <laughs> I don't have a child, right? and she's excited. And she comes and says, my brother, you know, I call him because I'm not spooned in everywhere. And I said, fine. You know, I wasn't only a couple years ago, but she said nothing. But that's, that's fine. So she was talking, and she was talking about her daughter. And daughter, too, she's a young mother. She doesn't think she knows it all. And my mother, who has nine children, talking to her granddaughter, is because her granddaughter is now a mother, she thinks she knows it all. <laughs> Experience is not a trip. It's a journey. Experience. It doesn't come in a day. If you take experience, Sean may have an experience. And that, that doesn't make that doesn't make that the experience null and void. But if it's going to use his experience against pastor's experience, it doesn't matter. Pastor has been here long, many years before him. So pastor's experience will be vast. He may know something that pastor doesn't know. But guess what? Pastor knows many things that he will never know and never see. I'm just giving an example. You know. So, how is it? This great God who spans out the universe. Someone is going to say, there's no God. Oh, 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 oh you reach that point to say, there's no God. The evidence to know, to support God's hope. He put a rainbow in the sky. Yes. He says, I will not destroy this earth like that again the next time I do that it will be fire Yes, because it really God of our heart God of our heart, God of emotions yes, sir. and it grieved him that when he saw what happened to humanity he didn't want to do it but he had us to do it and it grieved him so the next time you just see dust and it won't grieve him. But guess what happened? We who believe in him have a hope. Yes. Amen. I said, we who believe in him have a hope. All we have yes. to do, you know, is to be steadfast, you know. That's right. Unmovable. Always. Always. Abounding. Because he's coming back. That's it's right. not a dream. It's not a dream. And that is why he said in his word that in, 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 in the third chapter, right? For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. But through him. And that's where my theme is. Sovereign. Yes. The sovereign substitute. Think about this great, big, mighty, wonderful God. So in talking to my sister, I said to her, I hear what you're saying about your daughter, but tell me this. I'm going to tell you something to ask her. I said three words. I said, ask her who she knows that the word omniscient is attributed to. 
the word omnipresent and the word omnipotent. She said, my brother, say it again. I said, talk to your daughter because apparently she's, she's drifting into something else called Rastafarian. <laughs> so I said to her, I said to my sister, do you know what Rastafarian is? I said, Rastafarian movement was born in Jamaica about eight years ago. In Jamaica, it was born Rastafarian movement. The word Rastafari, the word Ras is a title. Like it does say, king, mm. right? Tafari was a person. So, Rastafari was actually a person who was living in Africa. He was a king. He was no God. I, I would imagine and I believe he's dead. I don't know if he must save. I don't know if he'll be risen from the dead. No right? way. <laughs> but I know that much about the history. And as a result, these people who choose to worship or follow that movement as add the Aryan to Rastafarian, right? I got Rastafarian. Jesus is real. Yes. And the Bible let us know if an angel from heaven come, come down and say to us that there is no God, let him be one. A curse. How can you not say that God seeing us weak, insufficient, helpless made a way when there seems to be no way? Only God, only some there is something supernatural could have come to the rescue of mankind because when we read the book of genesis and the book says that god created adam and eve and god said to them do not eat of that tree the day you shall eat it you shall surely, surely die. die yeah well they may have died physically they died spiritually, spiritually right. because the relationship that god had with them now it was it was barred. It was it, it, it was marred. It was it was damaged. And guess what? Um, they could not repair it themselves. Hey, it is no different with us today. David said, "In sin did my mother conceive me. In sin, right? No, because of Adam." And Eve, who failed us, we inherited their failure. That's right. Yeah. But guess what? God looked beyond our weakness. Yeah. Looked beyond our sinful nature. Took on that nature, the spirit. According to John four twenty four, God is a spirit. spirit. Did that worship Him? Must. Worship him in spirit and in truth. So the spirit took on the nature of humanity. Because in the eyes of God, in the wisdom of God, only one thing could appease the wrath of God. One thing. One single thing could have appeased the wrath of God and mankind. And that was blood. That's right. Nothing else. The Bible let us know. Without the shedding, shedding of blood, blood there is no remission of sins. sins. And so God made pre-substitutes all along the way. In fact, there was a time when God just went silent. He never stopped the pre-substitute though. Over up the boards, in the rams, pigeons. The blood springs from the altar. So if we if we read the Bible and see how God works meticulously, uh, as we say, there's a schoolmaster and teacher thing, right? Schoolmaster, teacher, student, right? So we are learning from 
the teacher, being the schoolmaster, yes. we being the students getting the knowledge because his word says that he has reconciled us that we may reconcile others to him, right? So it was a, it was a process. That was a process. Now, the fact is that there was a time when God said, you know what? You're doing this thing and you're doing it to remove your sin for a period, but at the same time, you're getting into more sin. Yeah. So it becomes a ritual. Mm -hmm. It has no meaning, no value. And he tells you, say, away with that. I don't want what you offer to me because it's not a meaning. It doesn't change what I intend to happen. And he said, I will come. Yes. I will come and I will fix it. So, in John, he came unto his, his, own. Own. And his own. Because, remember, you know, Israel got the promise. Israel was looking for him. Israel know that something is going to happen sometime. When exactly? They don't know. But they were looking for our Savior. And he came. And it's really clear. He came unto his own. His own. But his own received it not. But as There's many as received him, to them, gave him power to become. to become the sons of God. Glory. Hallelujah. Can somebody Glory. praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Can somebody praise the Lord? Hallelujah. That we have a blessed hope. Yes. That we, we, we have the privilege to be called the sons of God. Mm. And John emphasizes again in third, I think in third John 3, 2, something like that. Right? He says, No are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know. But we know. We know. We know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. But how is that gonna happen? If you if you never accept him, if you have never accepted the sacrifice. That he made. How are you gonna be like him when he comes? Because there's gonna be a change. Yeah. The Bible says that if we have not the spirit of Christ, we are none of us. So, what does it mean? What does it mean that God? The sovereign God became a substitute. That the gift that He offers, we see it as no value. It's not valuable. The Bible says, "Listen." And guess what? I am preaching to the choir. That's right. The Bible says there shall be weeping and yeah. wailing and gnashing of teeth. Yes. When, when is that going to be? When is it going to be? It's going to be because you know how the mark. Yes. Not the mark of the beast, you know? The seal of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Some time ago I spoke and I talked about manufacturers putting their symbols on their product all cars every car me know of a symbol that identifies me every manufacturer who produce an item have something this may just have it on too who is the maker who, who, who manufacture it right why why they do that you know why and that's again, I'm talking to the choir because they want to identify their product. That's right. So why do you think Jesus never want, don't want to identify we? You remember what happened in the Bible to that guy who came into the wedding celebration? The Bible on the right clothes. Don't, don't take it for just 
garment as garment, you know. Right? It's a metaphor for us to understand. If you have not the spirit of Christ, you don't belong to him. Come back to pass the point. The Holy Ghost is real. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is essential in any believer life. You can't be born again without the Holy Ghost. That's true. It's impossible. No, it doesn't happen. The Holy Ghost is the down payment that God gives to us to identify us as his property. Mm. My Lord. It's in the Bible, you know. So don't think I'm just making up something. It's there. He said, we are sealed. He said, what? Him say, we have this treasure in what? In, in board vessels, right? Earth. In gold vessels. No, pass in silver vessels. Earth. No, in diamond vessels, right? Earth. Earth. Right. So we have this treasure. What is this treasure? Mm. What is the treasure we have in the earthen vessels? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. We have this treasure in this tabernacle yes. that one day will be dissolved. Because guess what? You see, they go to him and say, Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. You ever think about it? Now that I'm talking, have you ever think about it? Start thinking about it. You know? Because the dust can't go back to the dust. The dust, this manna dust, that the Bible too. In the Bible, these words I'm saying, manna dust in the Bible. This dust must go back to the dust. And the spirit must go back to who gave it. There's no if and but. No question, no if or maybe. That's how it's going to be. If you have not the spirit of Christ. That's right. Amen. When that trumpet sound. Amen. That, sub, that sovereign substitution that was made. That gift that God offered to Jesus Christ. If his spirit is not alive mm. and working in you, dog, me and your supper. I'm just talking clear and straight. Yeah. Look here, I'm not saying this to friend. People on YouTube, Facebook, I'm just, I'm not saying this to friend no one. This is real. It's there in the book. Read it for yourself. So if I am lying, you can write on Facebook and say this man is a liar. I know what I'm talking about. We need Jesus. Yes. Jesus don't need us. We need him. The Bible says, in him we live and move and have our being. And have our being. Mm -hmm. Without him we can do nothing. We are totally, unconditionally dependent on him. That's right. So, talk to me. Exalt yourself as you may. Boast as you may. Think powerful as you may. It is God. It is God. It is God who have brought us here today. It is God that gave us that privilege. You, 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 you could have the most expensive watch or clock or whatever. If, if it was God's plan for you not to wake up, you couldn't wake yourself. That's right. Try as you may. If you put it in, clap in your ears, you now wake up. You just now wake It is God's grace, God's mercy, the love of God that our little finite minds can't even fathom how much he loves us, that he has caused us to live one moment in time. We can't live. <laughs> oh, God, help me, Jesus. That was it. See you tomorrow. See you next week. What? Who said that? Yeah. Where are you getting that from? 
You sound like you're a master of yourself. Mm. If the Lord will. Yeah. If the Lord will. And guess what? The Lord is always willing. Because that's his nature. His nature is good. God is. There's nothing bad about God. The very nature of God is goodness. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen. His nature. While he knows evil, God's eyes is not on evil. Amen. God's eyes is on goodness. That's right. Sing this little chorus sometimes. Who can make the boy bells ring and tell me who? Can make the angels sing and tell me who? Is the king of kings? Nobody but my Lord. God, he made the moon, he made the sun, and, and, and we sing it, right? But it's a nice chorus, and it makes you move and shake. But is it resonating? Is it resonating in our souls? Are we really embracing that chorus? Are you even the choruses that we sing? Are we really embracing them and really making them a part of our daily being? But I want to recognize some people sometimes think they have a fanatic, you know, because I'm seeing some cross from my heart. And then you may say, I work in a uh, senior living facility. They say, Oh, that sounds so nice. Sing it again. I'm going to just sing it. Because we're all in here. Right. God is real. Yeah, it's a God. Yes. There's nothing bad about God. The Bible said that He did not. Uh, he said, he that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. already. Because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is a condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness. Oftentimes, we hear things are happening and we say to ourselves, okay, why why that happen? And sometimes we may say, well, boy, you know, probably God can stop. Of course God can stop. God can stop. Christian from invisible. You don't choose to. Uh, anybody ever read the story of six day war with Israel? Anybody ever read that story? The amount of miracles that Israel experienced in that six day war. It, it is it is Impossible for you to say there's no God. <coughs> I read one story in that article. <coughs> when Israeli army was going through the desert, the enemy had laid a, a, a field of, of, of mines. And what God do? God blow a wind and exposed every single one. Think about it. God make a powerful wind came. But about a couple of miles in it, about miles of land in it. And a, a, a wind came and just blow and expose every mind. Not one is really dead. They found every mind. Who, who could it be? Jesus. Who, who could it be? If, as a believer, if I never had any other experience but the experience of receiving the Holy Ghost, it would be still difficult for anyone to convince me that there is no God. I would have to see probably the moon and the stars and the sun and the wind and the rainbow in the sky or the seas. But let's think about it. A tsunami will cause a wave to raise and probably cause some catastrophic damage. A tsunami. That's an earthquake under the sea, right? Mm -hmm. That's how a tsunami comes. But at the same time, the Bible lets us know that the Lord commanded the seas that it will not come further 
that he desires him to come under normal circumstances. So the Lord, we don't know what's in our you know. So don't think that the Lord is wicked. Sometimes we do that because we need to get some people's attention. And God, when God wants your attention, He will do anything to get your attention. Yeah. Then I do want to destroy you, know, but He will do to get your attention because He wants your attention. The sun has not changed from rising in the east and setting in the west. Am I talking the truth? Yes. Clouds have never stopped gathering to form rain. Am I talking the truth? <clears throat> if you take a fish out of water, it's going to die. <laughs> Am I talking the truth? Yes. You see, my point is, you know, I'm talking about here the sovereign substitute and his power. The power of God. Think about it. Man. <laughs> man decided that they wanted to go. <laughs> to reach God. In the heavens. Look at the throne of David, right? So in this time, because knowledge have increased, Brother Sean. They said, let us make a spacecraft. That we can go to space. If I go and build a, a city up there, <laughs> right? <laughs> and they said, from there, we will explore the vast universe and then go to Mars. If I don't come back, fine. But this is That is how man is thinking right now. That, that the thought of man. They made a new telescope recently, and the telescope has been discovering new. Um, planets, right? And they're excited, but God already, <laughs> God already made, right? Maybe. There's nothing about that excites God. God already made. All that God needs mankind to do is to worship Him. Yes. Is to thank Him. Yes. Is to praise Him. Is to tell of His goodness. Tell of his mercy and just don't get beside yourself with God. Because if you, we, we spoke, Pastor spoke about it earlier in the, in the Sunday school lesson, when you get beside yourself with God, he will make you of no reputation. <laughs> and you see, that is such a God that sometimes he doesn't make you look so bad enough. But he bring it up to a level that you have to Right, right, right. <laughs> because he can just push you aside, you know. He can just cut you off instantly to if he chooses to. And that is not for us to be fearful of him, but to fear him. Fear him. Amen? Yes. So, God, this God who took on flesh, humanity, for one ultimate reason. Is to bring salvation to his creation. Finding himself in the form of a man. What did he do? He asked the Lord, said, Lord, could it be possible? Don't let me do this. Yes. Don't let me do this. I, I didn't do anything. But the Lord gave not a word. He didn't answer it. They don't answer Jesus. I said, well, guess what? Sorry, nobody have to deal with that. He just never answered. And sometimes, this is a misunderstanding. Also, people start saying, oh, so there's another God, right? And there's a third God. No, there's one God. One God! Creation is the Father. And redemption is the Son. And then regeneration is the Holy Spirit. <coughs> That's the God we serve. Yes. So, if it be possible, let this come pass. Yes. But, guess what? I'm not getting any religious, so guess what? Not my will. 
let your will be done. That's the sovereign God we serve. That's the sovereign God who became a substitute for us. That's what it was declared. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever <laughs> believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yes. I trust that these words today may bring some comfort. That these words may bring some hope knowing that it is only only in Jesus we have hope. And if we don't have hope in him and in something else Jesus we are men most miserable. miserable. God bless you. In Jesus name. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Give God the praise. Amen. He's alive. <coughs> and he's in us. Bless him. Amen, Lord. He's alive. And he's coming back. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We thank God for the message. Thank you, Lord. And those of us who know the God we serve. We are rejoicing in this message. You see, oh, we're not confused. Amen. But we thank God for the word encouraging us to hold on. There's no time to give up. There's no time to worry about what the unbeliever is saying. Just keep on trusting God. Praise God. Amen. Shall we stand? And we thank God for um, those of you who are with us on Facebook and YouTube. God is in the blessing business. He's here to bless and to do good. He's here to grace, grace us with his truth and his righteousness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shall we just say hallelujah? Hallelujah. And we're doing that because we know this God we serve that he's able to deliver. He's able to strengthen us. Praise God, praise God, praise God. If there's one here today who wants us to pray with you, amen. We want you to come. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. He's coming back again. You know, this does sound like an altar call, but it's a song that is true. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He went away not to stay. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Yes, he's coming back again. Oh, glory, hallelujah. He's coming back again. Oh, he's coming back again. Yes, he's coming back again. He went away not to stay.
Lord God, to redeem us, to reconcile us to himself. Amen. Through his son, Jesus Christ. So we thank God for the word and for the preacher. We God, give God praise. At this time, Father, we thank you for your mercy and your blessing. We honor you, Lord God, that you're telling us about your glory, telling us about your power. Amen, Lord Jesus Christ, that you rule supreme no matter what man says, Lord Jesus Christ. And even though they were disturbing the disciples, the apostles about your coming, amen, they said, you know, as men come slackness, but you promised, uh, you made a promise and you're coming back. And for that, Lord God, we rejoice. And for that, we look, amen, unto the hills from whence come our help for strength and for mercy to endure that we shall inherit, Lord God, the kingdom and rejoice with you and live forever. Such a beautiful thing, Lord. Amen. Let us not be disturbed with what we hear or what people tell us because we have the power in us. We have the evidence in us. We see it every day that you are alive, Lord God, that you are strong. Amen. And working in behalf of your people. Strengthen us as we leave here today. Hallelujah. Our God, be our guide, be our keeper, be our protector. In Jesus' name, let every heart say amen. Amen. All those who expect him to come back, say amen. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Now the name that is able to keep us from falling and to present us for us before his presence with great joy. To the only wise God our Savior be glory and honor, dominion and power, both now and forever. Let all God's people say, Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Bring somebody. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. So, bear with us. 